Present. Councillor Barry. Here. Uh, Councillor Cassidy. Here. Councillor Fritz is absent. Uh, Councillor Lynch. Here. Councillor McGinty. Here. Councillor Swift Kayata is not present. Absent. The clerk is not present, and the manager is. Thank you. Thank you. If we can have a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for the councillors on behalf, I would like to mention that I did contact the Sullivans and the Pillsbury's to let them know that we were meeting, um, that we appreciated what the, the offer that they were giving us and that um, they were more than welcome to be here. So since they are not, and I heard nothing from them, I assume that they believe everything is quite satisfactory. We would need a, a motion to remove item number 450203 from the table. Do I hear a motion? I'll make that motion. Second. And a second, all right. Uh, so now we can have Did item number 450203, uh, an, a motion to accept we the... We need to move it from the to... table first. Was so we have to vote. To vote, no. oh, vote. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm always ahead of myself, aren't I? All in favor of the motion. As you call, trying to rush it along. And I might add that for the next item, we have three members of the Conservation Commission and the town planner here as well. Um, so, item number 450203. Do I have a motion to accept the... Uh, the pedestrian easement from the Grahams and the Pillsburys. Uh, uh, Graham, the Pillsburys and uh, Graham and Susan Pillsbury and Louise and Dr. Sullivan, actually. I so move. Second. Second. Okay, any discussion? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, Councilor Barry. Uh, it, it, the reason we tabled this was to ask a, a couple of questions of the town attorney. And he's written a letter to us uh, dated October 22nd. 2002 and uh, in order for clarity uh, to uh, leave no doubt as to the intent of the council in passing this I would like to have uh, Michael Hill our town attorney's uh, letter of October 22nd 2002 made a, a part of the record of this meeting uh, Without objection, or do we, do we need a, do we need to take a motion on that, or can that just be included? No, I just included. Just Fine. I don't agreeing. see anybody but, but objecting as, to that. As part of the motion, uh, all right. I, I would like to yeah. uh, have that clarification. Right. So and I didn't open it to discussion for you folks. Is there anyone that would that would like to address the item? Go ahead, David. Would, Dave. Know, certainly, you're here. We'd love to hear from you. My name is David Sterling. I'm 52 Broad Cove Road. I'm a member of the Conservation Commission. And, of course, this trail is close to my home, so it's sort of a, something I've followed quite closely. But I would like to just emphasize a couple of points. And that, number one, the trail now is beautiful to walk on, but it dead ends in the middle of woods. And it goes nowhere. We've got to have an outlet. And what is being proposed here with this easement is about the best choice of an out, outlet and allow people to get across uh, Two Lights Road, maybe even walk to the beach, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, so there are a couple of issues that occur now with the trail as configured. And that is, first of all, dead ends in the woods. So someone looks around and they're looking for a road to go to or some open space, and they walk right across a uh, gentleman's land, which is adjacent to this dead end. and. Uh, he isn't happy, and I don't blame him. Uh, maybe Maureen could give his name. I just can't remember the gentleman's name. But uh, that, that is one issue. The other issue is, that it, think of it as living where I do or somewhere in my vicinity. Why would you walk down trails dead end? You don't want to walk back over what you just walked over. So those two issues alone should make this easement the thing to do. Uh, I realize there's a couple of objections on small things, but let it go through. Let us work out the details and go through with it fairly fast because we've got a new season coming up next summer, and we'd like to have this open by then, and we need the time from now until then to get everything ready. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Anyone else uh, care to speak? All right. Back to the council. Any further discussion? Marianne. I had one question at the last meeting. I fully support this trail. I'm very grateful to the Pillsbury's and the Sullivan's for um, offering to donate it. The question I had last time, though, was would the language preclude the town from having motorized vehicles go over their easement, whether for emergency purposes or for trail maintenance? And I'm not sure that question was asked or answered. So I continue to have that concern. And I don't know if the town manager can shed any light on that. But um, that's the one concern I have. Mr. McGovern, please. There was an email, if, if, if I'm answering the question correctly, from Mr. Hill uh, that indicates that it is acceptable for motorized vehicles for emergency purposes, but, but not, for, not for other purposes. And also that the Grand Tours would be uh, able to prohibit uh, the, the, the all-terrain vehicles from going on the easement because they still own the property, even though it's subject to a town easement. Does that answer your question, uh, Marianne? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm confused, but I guess I, need, I have to rely on the town attorney. I'm a little confused with the language. That's why I wanted to have this letter made a part of the record of this meeting. Yeah, so I, I'm still confused with the language. I have some concern, but um, I'll vote to accept it um, and hope that the town attorney is, is right. All right, very um, good. Despite what I see as language that <laughs> Me too. indicates the contrary. Michael. Yeah, Maureen and I had a, quite an extensive discussion about this. I think it was the day before yesterday when she was busy getting ready for another major event. And uh, at that meeting, we discussed, you know, the fact this is really a good opportunity now that we've heard all the council's discussions to, as we look at future easements, to come up with, with a template that will be able to be used. And there's been a lot of good suggestions that, that have occurred. And, you know, from that, we will be developing a template so that, you know, for future easements, uh, when they're drafted, uh, all of these issues will be understood. And that as we receive donations or as we purchase easements, in fact, at times, uh, we'll be looking for language that addresses uh, the issues that came up during this one. So it's, I think it's been a, a real healthy discussion and uh, uh, will be very helpful in the, in the future. If the town manager would note that Councillor Swift Kayada is here for the record as well. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I, I must apologize for being late. I was caught going out the door by a phone call from the Sentry, a reporter from the Sentry asking about the town council's uh, position on the MMA resolution and our own tax resolution so I felt it imperative to make sure the record was clear she was somewhat confused about what we had said and not said and I just wanted to make sure the record was clear so I do apologize for being late and I'm sure you made it absolutely clear well <laughs> I hope so any further discussion on uh, the item before us John I I'm comfortable with uh, our attorney's uh, assessment of what can and can't be done I think if we need to get vehicles in there, even if it's for emergency maintenance, I mean, if a bunch of trees come down, an ice storm, and we need to get a truck in there to haul some, you know, trees out of there, I'm sure that that is an appropriate use of the easement. So I'm comfortable with it. I'm fine. All set. And I, likewise, I, I feel the same way, that if there was an issue where the, the Conservation Commission needed to go in and they needed a, a piece of mechanic, me, mechanical piece of equipment to bring something in, the, the uh, Pillsbury's and the Sullivan's would more than likely give them permission to do so. I don't think it's a major issue, so I will vote in the affirmative as well. So at that point, I guess we can call the question and mm -hmm. all in favor of ex accepting the, the uh, easement. You can show it to be unanimous. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Citizens' discussions of items not on the agenda? Um, yeah, we did have it on there. We will still allow it if anybody <laughs> from the public wishes to step forward. I move we adjourn. <laughs> All right. And we had a second on that. All in yep. favor? And thank you. Uh